Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in this video we're going to be talking about Fortnite Chapter 5 dropped recently, how you can improve your FPS, what are the best competitive settings and all that in just one video. This is the only video that you'll ever need for Fortnite Chapter 5 so make sure to watch this video till the end and with all that said, let's get started. Alright, the really first thing that you have to do is the Windows settings and for that you need to open up settings on your Windows and once you are over here you have to go all the way down to gaming, go to game bar and make sure to turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of memory running in the background and disabling that will save a lot of memory. Right after that, go down to game mode and make sure to turn this thing on. This will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background. This will also disable the notification pop-ups whenever you're playing the game and it is really really beneficial. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings, open this thing up and then simply click on change default graphic settings. Once you are here, enable both of these options, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimization for windowed games. This will utilize your GPU over your CPU and it will also reduce your input latency. Once it is done, go back to graphics again, click on browse. Now over here you have to add the Fortnite launcher as well as the Win64 shipping. I have already added that for myself right beneath that. So once it is added, go to options and then select high performance. So it utilizes maximum performance whenever you're playing the game. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 53.78 but on this sale you can get it for 21.75 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 16.31. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. There are a multi bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Step number two is actually deanimating your windows. Windows comes with a lot of unnecessary animations such as this and it consumes a lot of memory as well. So to disable that, you need to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and click on adjust for best performance. And also make sure to select show thumbnail sensitive of icon as well as smooth edges of screen fonts since this will be helping you guys to keep your windows look intact. Right after that, go to advanced section and for virtual memory, click on change. Now here is how you need to set your virtual memory. For the custom size, initial size should be 1361 and your maximum size should be half of your external memory. So for that you need to search for system information on your PC and then look for the installed physical memory that is 32GB for me. Now you have to open up calculator on the side screen and in here you have to multiply 32 or your RAM with 1024. This will give you your memory in megabytes. Now what you have to do is simply divide this thing by 2 and set the whole thing out to the maximum size. Also you have to remove any commas, simply click on set and click on ok and then apply. Make sure that you restart your PC once after setting the virtual memory to get that thing in action. Next step is the boot configuration and for that you need to search for system configuration on your PC. Now once you open this thing up, you have to go over to the boot section, click on advanced options and then select number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors. This will utilize all of your CPU cores while booting up. Right after that, you have to go over to services, click on hide all Microsoft services and disable any other services that you see that are not required on your PC. Now, I have already disabled Adobe, browser update services, as well as printer services and so much more that I do not need on a regular basis. Once it is done, simply click on apply and then close it. 
Next step is using no ping to fix all of your packet loss and ping issues in just one click. You can always download this from the link in the description below and this application opens up like this. Now once you are over here you have to simply search for Fortnite from this list and then simply click on select the server. Now over here it will show you the ping of the nearest region to you and for me it is Singapore. Now simply click on Singapore and then select optimize this game and it will start utilizing the best tunnel to ping your game to the nearest server directly without any interruption and this will fix all of your packet loss and ping issues and fluctuations regarding to your internet now the best part about no ping is the settings gear over here you can click on turbo games you need to enable this thing and then click on boost fps and enable all of these options and the first third and fifth option from the right hand side this will help you to Disable all of the unwanted services of your PC and utilize the maximum energy for playing the game. This in turn will fix all of your network issues as well as FPS issues in the game. Once again, with no ping, you can have access to 1000 plus games, whichever you want to play without any packet loss or network issues and it works in one click. So go check out no ping from the link in the description below. Next step, you have to open up your device manager on the PC and once it opens up, you have to go all the way down to system devices. Now in here, you have to disable composite bus enumerator, high precision event timer and numeric data enumerator or processor if it is available in the system devices what you can do is simply right click on it and click on enable or disable device to disable it again you also have to look for your network adopters and over here you'll have to find your lan connection for me this is the ethernet connection you have to go to properties and in here go to power management and make sure to disable the first option which is allow computer to turn off this device to save power once that is done click on ok and then close your device manager Next step is the Fortnite config settings and for that you need to press your windows and R key together and over here you have to type in app data. Once you open this thing up, you have to go over to local, then you have to look for Fortnite game. In here go to saved and then you have to go to config. And over here you have to go to game client and in here you'll find game settings.ini. Right click on it, go to open with and select notepad. Once it opens up, you have to scroll a little bit down and do the following changes. Firstly, you have to set the motion blur false and show grass false. Right after that, you have to set your latency tweak 1 to false and latency tweak 2 to true. Then you have to select latency flash and set this thing to false as well. Then use a nanite, you have to set this thing to false and DLSS quality, you have to set this thing to 1. Also make sure that the B ray tracing is set to false. Then you have to scroll all the way down until you find the low input latency mode is enabled. You have to set this thing to true and then you'll also find your B V sync equal to. You have to set this thing to false dynamic resolution solution should be set to false right after that you have to scroll a little bit down until you find the full screen mode you have to set this thing to zero then you have to go to ray tracing and in here you have to set this thing to false then you have scalability groups so resolution quality i recommend you guys to set this thing to 50 view distance 0 anti aliasing 3 shadow quality 0 global illumination 0 reflection quality 0 post processing 0 everything 0 and for the shading quality set this thing to 2 and landscape quality set this thing to 2 this is the best settings for constant FPS that you guys want from the game. Once it is done, press your Ctrl and S key together and simply close it. Then you have to right click on it, go to properties and then click on read only and apply. This will ensure that your game will not override these settings whenever you open it up because game sometimes overrides your settings with the setting that it thinks goes best for your PC. So keep it read only until you have to edit it once again. Next step is creating a restore point and for that you have to search for create a restore point on your PC and then over here you have to select your local disk C, click on create and name it Fortnite just so you can remember it from. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore every setting back without any data loss. 
Now next step is the Fortnite Chapter 5 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply download and open this thing up. If you guys are facing any issues, you can always join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Now over here, you'll find in four simple files. First one is the CPU priority. You have to open it up and you have to apply the CPU priority according to your CPU. Now I currently use an AMD CPU, so I need to run the AMD CPU priority. If you guys use Intel CPU, you have to run the Intel priority. Once it is done, go back to registry optimizations. And over here, you have to run both of these optimizations optimizations as it will help you to run your game constantly on full screen on exclusive full screen and it will also help you to optimize your game by setting the preferences in the registry files once again if you don't like it you can always go back in default registry optimization and reset it back from here next one is the ram optimization and over here i have left a ton of presets according to your memory now to know that you have to search for system information on your pc and once again this is the installed physical memory that you guys are using i currently use 32 gb ram so i have to use Use this one but if you guys have a different ram you can pick it from all of these options that i have given you from here and if you don't like it you can always reset it back to default once it's done go back to the last folder which is the device optimization tweaks and over here you have to run all of these registries this is completely optional if all of the last steps had given you better performance you don't have to do it but if you are running a super low-end computer i recommend you guys to do this it will disable unnecessary services background apps download maps transparency and a lot more on your pc don't worry this is not needed and it consumes unnecessary processing power in the background and disabling it will help you to get rid of all of that processing power consumption and utilize it in your gaming once again if you want to enable any of these back again you have to go back to revert registries and run all of them once again now once you're done with everything you have to open up epic games click on these three dots and then go to manage right over here you'll find launch options you have to turn this thing on and paste in this whole thing that is hyphen LAN play hyphen no splash and hyphen use all available course you'll also find this string on the website so you can copy it straight from there and once you're done with that you can open up fortnite and follow the best in game settings okay once you are in your game you have to go all the way down to settings and over here you have to select your window mode to full screen your resolution should be your native resolution vsync should be turned off and rendering mode should be set to performance lower graphic fidelity simply click on apply and decline the restart for now then you have to scroll down and turn off motion blur and the quality presets as we have already set this thing in the settings over there you have to set nvidia dlss and set this thing to performance this will lower your 3d resolution to 50 percent then all of these options should be turned off i personally prefer to set my view distance to far but it won't change because we have already set this thing to read only in the config files now you have to scroll all the way down to advanced graphics and over here you have to turn on the show fps and latency markers and use debug crashing turn off because these are the processes which are running in the background for nvidia reflex low latency keep it on plus boost and and simply click on apply right after that you have to go to volume section and then your sound quality set this thing to low do not set this thing to high because it decreases your performance it utilizes a lot more cpu usage so just keep it low and simply click on apply once again and you are good to go so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have missed to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button also, we have introduced channel membership on the channel. So if you guys want to show some support towards the content, you can get the membership. It is really, really appreciated. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.